right. Namaste. Hi, everyone. Thank you for joining. Hope you all are doing good today. Um, before we get started today, I just wanted to talk about something that's been on my mind. Um, it's social media. So I've taken a little bit of break from social media for the last couple of weeks. And it's so easy to get wrapped up in social media sometimes because there's always, you know, people posting these perfect yoga postures or like having fun vacations and all of this. Um, but underneath all of the things that are in the social media, we all know as humans, we all suffer. Suffering is part of life, right? And right now we're all suffering in some ways, right? This COVID situation is affecting us. But sometimes when we are in social media a lot, we tend to forget that, you know, all of our our lives are full of suffering but then we see this perfect life of someone and sometimes you know just feel like oh that perfect person has a perfect life and just like buddha said you know in the cycle of samsara samsara is full of suffering and accepting the fact that you know i suffer you suffer everyone suffers can really help to get over these feelings of jealousy or aggression or competitiveness and all of these things and really develop this sense of love and connection that we're all humans and we're all you know connected in some sort of way and so i just wanted to start with that because today i want to focus on the heart chakra you know the center of our love and being loved and loving other people and really connect to yourself with your heart and feel that deep love that you have for everything and everyone um, and so with that start to tune in slowly now closing your eyes towards your own breath deep inhale through your nose deep exhale through your mouth open mouth side out let everything go let all the tensions go inhale deeply nothing matters just your breath exhale let it go one more time inhale expand your belly full maybe take one more sip of air and then let it go just let everything go take one more breath and this time seal your mouth and exhale with your nose just again letting all the tensions letting all feelings of jealousy aggression negativeness anything that you have just let it go with the breath keep breathing like that this ujjayi pranayama or victorious breath all of us are fighting a battle right now and now we fight our own battles in our own way so just connect with your breath and your heart and feel the never-ending love that your heart can give you and slowly bring your hands to heart center and keeping that deep inhale let's say the sound of om on our exhale inhale fully expanding your belly Aum. Let's do that one more time, really emphasizing the mm vibration sound. Inhale. Aum. One more. Inhale. Aum. And then slowly place your right hand over your chest and left hand on your belly. And let's continue to breathe, really focusing on our breath and see how your heart is feeling, just expanding. Just feel your heart. Beating of your heart. The warmthness of your heart. A few more breaths like that. And just feel some love radiating over your body, gratitudeness over your body. We're gonna start with some circles. So you can open your eyes, placing your hands on your knees, start to draw some circles with your body. Small circles first, and then you can widen the circle, really opening up your chest. 
and slowly come to center and let's take that circle in the opposite direction. Small loop ones first. Keep the breathing, deep inhale, deep exhale. Slowly come to center, place your right hand outside your right thigh, inhale, lift your right, left hand overhead, exhale, bend your elbow, side bend right. Inhale, open your chest, exhale, side bend, feel that stretch on the left side. One more time, inhale, exhale, slowly come to center, place left hand outside the left side, inhale, lift your right hand overhead, exhale, side bend left. Bending your left elbow. Inhale, open your chest. Exhale, let it go. One more time. Exhale, slowly come to center. From here, really let's take that stretch a little bit more deeper. Now come to, come to your forearm all the way down. And then this time you can bend your left elbow and even try to grab the back of your knee. Feel that stretch on the left side and stay here for three breaths, really pressing your left knee down. Sometimes you know, our side bodies don't get a lot of stretch. After your third breath, come back to center and come back to your forearm on the left side and then bending your right elbow, grab the back of your neck, Really staying here for three breaths, pressing that right knee down. Three deep breaths. Really audible sounds if you can. Slowly come to center. And then from, from here, clasp your hands behind your back, bringing your, um, your thumb to touch the floor like that. And then slowly bring, tweeze your elbow or that clasped hand towards your right side and bend your left, your head towards the left side. Staying here for three breaths, really pressing on your sits bone and feeling the openness in your chest. Three deep breaths, letting go of the mind chatters. And slowly tweeze that hand towards the left side. Bend your head towards the right. Three deep breaths again. Expanding your belly. Letting go. Three deep breaths. Coming to center. Press your, open your hands nice and straight. And then sitting nicely comfortably on your sits bone. Start to fold your thumb, your index finger, middle finger, ring finger, and your pinky finger, and start to draw some circles with your wrists. Keeping your arms straight and keeping the rhythm of your breath. Now draw those circles in the opposite direction. Feel the nice workout for your wrist if you've been working on the computer. And then slowly point your, both of your wrists, fists down, and then slowly move your hand as if you're moving it through honey or molasses. Couple of these. And slowly bring both hands, cross them over, and grab the opposite knees, and really look inside towards your chest. Really look inside and you can sink even further down. And take two breaths here. And slowly come up and from here, bringing your feet to touch each other, clasping the toes, just move your legs like wings of a butterfly. And then slowly coming to stillness, straighten your right foot forward, bring the left foot onto your right elbow crease, clasp your hands or just hold on to your shin and sitting up nice and tall, rock from side to side. Shishubalasana or rock your baby posture. 
and just really focus on your breath. Deep inhales and exhales and feeling that openingness on your hips. And slowly bring that left foot to meet the right and this time bring your right foot into your left elbow crease. Sitting up nice and tall, rock from side to side, opening that right hip area. Nice three deep breaths here. And slowly bring both feet about mat width distance, placing your hands by your side, knock your knees from side to side. Next time they drop towards the right, sit up tall and twist to the right. All the way to the back as you inhale, lift your spine. As you exhale, twist a little bit more to the back. Two more breaths here, inhale, lengthening, Exhale, letting go. Inhale, oxygenate. Exhale, let go. Slowly come to face the front and again, knock your knees from side to side. Let them drop to the left, sit up tall and twist to the back. Inhale again, lengthen. Exhale, twist. Two more, inhale. Deep inhale. Exhale. So let it go. Inhale one more time. Feeling the openingness again on your chest. Exhale. Slowly come to face the front from here. Cross your ankles and then come to a neutral tabletop. Setting yourself here first. Your hands are nice and flat on the mat. And knees are about hip width distance. Let's do some cat-cow stretches. Inhale, drop your belly, slide your chest forward, look up. Exhale, look towards your belly. Again, feeling that openingness of your chest, your center of love, feeling that connection. One more time, inhale, arch your back. Exhale, look inside. And slowly come to neutral tabletop, placing your left hand towards the center of the mat. Inhale, lift your right hand it's nice and straight. Exhale. Thread that right hand underneath, coming all the way down. Place your head down, coming to lie on your shoulder. And then slowly bring that left hand all the way around and maybe grab the right thigh. Really open that left shoulder. Three breaths here. Inhale. Feeling that openingness again in your chest area. Your heart is open to its natural self of receiving. And slowly come to neutral tabletop, facing left hand this time, or sorry, right hand this time in the center. Lift your left hand overhead. And then exhale, thread that left hand underneath, come down to your shoulder and rest your head Bring that right hand all the way around, grabbing your left thigh. Three breaths, then opening up your chest on the right side. Really connecting with your breath. Slowly come. Come back to a neutral tabletop. And then from here, you're gonna come Slowly tuck your toes and come down to a downward facing dog. Your first downward facing dog. So setting yourself here again, as always, bringing your chest closer to your thigh so you can bend your knees if you want. You can come to your toes and really press the mat away from you. Look towards your belly so that your neck is nice and straight. And stay here for two deep breaths. You can even let Go with a lion's breath, inhale. Stick out your tongue, look towards your nose. <sighs> Let it go. One more time, inhale. <sighs> and then slowly coming to your toes if you're not there. Start to walk towards your hands. One step at a time, tiny steps. Once your feet are in line with your hands, 
Start to stack your vertebrae one at a time. Head should be the last thing to come up and slowly start to come up. Coming to Tadasana or mountain posture. So making sure you're pressing through all four corners, knees are lifted, chest is lifted. Again, opening your chest to that natural self and really focusing on a drishti or point of focus and opening your palms, standing tall like a mountain. I'm gonna do a round of sun salutation here, modified sun salutation. Inhale, sweep your hands overhead, high prayer. Exhale, swan dive all the way down. Inhale, look forward, straight back. Exhale, fold inside. Pressing your hands on the mat, step your left foot back. Right foot meets the left, come to a plank. Drop your knees, drop your chest, drop your chin. Slide forward to cobra. Drop your chin back down, tuck your toes. Come to downward facing dog. Let's take three breaths here, inhale. Exhale. Second one, inhale. Exhale, inhale one more, exhale, slowly you can look towards the front rock, bend your knees, hop, step or jump to the front, towards your hand, inhale, look forward, exhale, fold inside, inhale, sweep your hands overhead, exhale, release your hands, coming back to Tadasana, taking a moment here, then inhale, sweep your hands overhead again. High prayer. Exhale, swan dive all the way down. And then pressing your hands on the mat, step your left foot back, but not all the way back. This time, um, it's like being on a two railway track. So your right foot is a little bit towards the side. Instead of a nice straight line, you're almost on a railway track. And then from here, you're gonna bring your left hand outside your right foot, and then slowly from here, straighten your right hand, coming to this twisted triangle. Look towards your fingertips, focus on your breath, three breaths here. Keeping, trying to keep your legs nice and straight if you can. Three breaths, second one, one more. If you're shaky, that's totally fine. And then slowly frame your right foot, and then bend your head and try to bring your forehead closer to your knee. So you can bend your knee here and massage your third eye with your knee. And slowly bring that left foot inside. Inhale, look forward, straight back. Exhale, fold inside. And again, pressing your hands. And as if you're on a railway track, Step your right foot back, not all the way back, and then straightening your left leg. Place your right hand this time outside your left foot, and then straighten your left hand towards the sky. See, even I am shaky because I haven't done this in a while. You can even come to your fingertips if your feet can't be all the way flat. Look towards your fingertips. Three breaths. Parivritta Trikonasana, or Twisted Triangle. Two more. And slowly frame that left foot, and then bring that forehead closer to your left knee. You can massage your third eye with your knee. Then slowly bring that right foot to meet the left. Inhale, look forward, straight back. Exhale, fold inside. Inhale, sweep your hands overhead. Exhale, release. All right, so today we're going to do a little bit of a, a challenge posture. Uh, so you can take it at your own pace. So stay, it's almost like a tree, but we're going to do an eagle wrap bind. So basically stepping or pressing really hard on your left foot, slowly bring your right knee across the left. And then if you can, bring it all the way around. If, you're, if this is where you are, 
and you can't go any further, that's fine. But the full posture is your foot will be all the way, so it's from the back, this is how it will look. It's all the way around. All right, so then once you find your balance, really find your balance and open your left hand towards the sky, right hand towards the right side, and then bring that right hand underneath and eagle wrap your hands like that. So if you can't touch both hands, it can be like that, that's fine. And slowly really sit on your chair or this posture and take three breaths, balancing on your left leg. This is really good balancing posture, but you can look across your hands towards the front. Feeling that nice, deep connection with your breath. One more breath. And slowly unbind, release your legs. You can shake it out. That was a hard work. All right, let's do that on the opposite side now. Pressing this time on your right foot. Bring your left knee closer to your chest. Bring that knee across and again, bind that leg. And once you're there, finding your balance, focus on something unmoving target. Then right hand straight, left hand towards the left side. Bring that left hand underneath the right. Eagle wrap your hands and find your balance. Sit, sit a little, sink a little bit deeper here. Three breaths. Breath is your anchor. Slowly unbind, release your legs, and shake it out. Smile at yourself for doing that hard work. All right, slowly, you can start to open up both legs and open your feet towards the opposite direction. And then slowly bring your hands in a star shape, so pointing to the opposite. As you exhale, sink down. As you inhale, sweep your hands, coming to star. As you exhale, sweep down. One more time, inhale. Exhale. And slowly let it go. And then turn your feet parallel to each other. You can even widen them a little bit more. And bring your hands or fingers in this peace finger and slowly bending all the way down, grab your big toe with your peace finger. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, fold inside. You can bend your elbow and look across all the way to the back. Let's take three breaths here. And then slowly come up to your fingertips and then slowly to turn your left foot inside and just pivot yourself towards the front. Bring that left foot to meet the right. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, fold inside. And then from here, come to sit down and slowly come to your knees. Coming to sit down on Virasana for a second. And just take a moment here, sitting on your heels. Take a deep breath. All right, I'm going to teach you today how to prep or a headstand. We're not going to do a headstand, but this is going to involve everything that's uh, required for a headstand. And it's also a good way to feel your heart beating. So because we're focusing on the heart chakra today, let's practice this. And then slowly from here, come back to downward facing dog. From your downward facing dog, you're going to start to slowly come to your forearm. So come to your forearms and place your head between your, uh, your, between your hands. And so this is actually a headstand. So you can start to move your feet a little bit closer so that your back is kind of straight and just stay here. You're pressing on your elbows and not too much pressure on your head. One breath. Really feel the heart beating and then slowly come all the way down to child's pose. That was a lot of work today. 
and just sink yourself. You can even open, take a wide-legged child's pose. So really open up your knees and sink your head, your forehead on the mat, and just drop to the earth. Let everything go. You might even have felt a little bit of that pressure on your crown of your head. And just now let everything go. And feel your heart really beating fast right now. When you do inversion practices, your heart rate goes up and child's pose really brings that down. So just take your time here. Slowly from here, come all the way, lying down on your belly, come into this Sphinx posture. Again, another heart opener here and back bend. And slowly come all the way down, bring your chin down, open your hands, coming to fingertips. As you inhale, lift up your chest, open your back. As you exhale, bring your chin down. One more time, inhale. Exhale. One more. Inhale. Exhale. Zip your toes, bring your feet together, and grab, clasp your hands behind your back. And you're going to, keeping those feet really close together, you're going to balance on your belly and lift up your chest and neck, opening that front. Slowly bring it down. You can. Just windshield wipe your legs from side to side. A lot of hard work today. Just take a moment here. And then when you're ready, come back to child's pose. Neutralizing. Child's pose is a really neutralizing posture for any kind of intense work that you do. So really find that balance in between. And slowly come back up on Virasana. And then swing your legs forward, bringing them nice and straight. Dandasana. And then from here, inhale, sweep your hands overhead. Exhale, fold onto your knees. Bringing, you can bend your knees and bringing your chest closer to your thighs. Really sink here for two breaths. Deep breaths. And slowly come up, cross your right leg over the left knee. So you can bend your left knee, coming to this cross-legged sort of position like this. And this time, you're going to bring your hands in reverse namaste in the back if you can. So basically, you do reverse namaste here. Or if you want, you can grab your opposite elbows. Really open your chest here. Inhale, look up. Exhale, fold. One more time, wherever you are. Fold, opening up your chest. Fold. Let's do that on the opposite. Cross your left leg this time over the right. Crossing them like that and then bring your hands back in reverse namaste. Or you can grab the opposite elbows. Inhale. Exhale, fold inside. One more time, inhale. Exhale, one more time. Exhale, slowly from here, you're gonna bring your feet, this time close together, and then let's do a boat posture. So really sink back, tip your weight back, keeping your feet nice and flat, and then maybe lift one leg nice and straight, maybe the other leg, and look towards your feet, really thanking them. And you can even let go of your hands if you find your balance. Really focus. Really focus on your breath. One more breath, deep and slowly let everything go. And come to lie on your back, reclining on your back. And just, you can rock your knees from side to side, just like we did when we were sitting down. Let them drop to the right side and turn your head to the left. And just feel this gentle twist. And again, bring your feet up, your knees up, and rock them from side to side. 
Let them drop to the left this side. Look towards the right. And slowly from here, you're going to bring your right knee or right um, foot over your left knee. And again, rock it from side to side. This will be a deeper twist. So then you're going to drop your left knee and then take a twist to the right. So look towards your right side and you really feel that deep stretch on the right thigh this side. Really opening up your shoulders so your left knee or your left shoulder is glued to the mat. Make sure it's not lifted up. Two breaths here. And slowly come to center, placing that right knee down. Place your left ankle over your right knee and again rock from side to side. This time letting it drop to the right. Look towards your left. And feel that deep stretch on your left side. So we come to center, bring your feet to touch each other in this Bhattakasana, but sleepy, and then grab your big toes. And from here, lift your chest, bringing your feet closer towards yourself. And stay down. One more time. Lift your chest. One more. Lifting. And then letting go. Let's do some yogi bicycle. So bring your hands to clasp behind the, at the base of your neck. And then bring your right elbow to touch your left knee, straightening your right foot. And take that at your own pace. As you inhale, bring the elbow to touch your knee. As you exhale, let it go. Just these gentle yogi bicycles, really good core work. I'm feeling it all parts of your body. You slowly come to stillness. Bring both knees closer to your chest and open them and draw some circles with your knees in one direction. Draw the circles in the opposite direction. And then keeping the left leg nice and straight, turn the right foot towards the sky. And if you can, grab the outer edges of your foot or your ankle. And then try to straighten that leg, really pressing on that left leg down. Let's take three breaths there. Slowly bring that right foot to meet the left and then straight, keeping the right foot straight, straighten the left foot towards the sky, grabbing the opposite or outer edges of your foot. And really trying to straighten it in three breaths. Bring both feet to touch each other and then bring your legs or feet to touch on the mat and really come to lie down on your chest lifting up your chest and stay here in this fish posture and it might be too much but you can even try to look towards the back and stay here for three breaths slowly come to set center, bring your heels closer to your buttocks. And once you're able to grab your ankle or graze your heels with your fingertips, then you can lift up your pelvis from the mat, really pressing on your shoulders. You can even bring your hands to clasp underneath. Inhale, exhale, lift a little bit higher. One more time, inhale. Exhale a little bit more. One more inhale. And on your exhale, one vertebrae at a time, slowly bring your pelvis to the mat. You can knock your knees towards one another for this restorative posture. And then slowly from here, bring your knees closer to your chest, point your feet up, coming to happy baby and rock from side to side.
really feeling happy and blissful, just like a baby for all the work you've done. And bringing your knees closer to your chest. You can give yourself a big hug, grabbing opposite elbows, bring your forehead closer to your knee, coming to a tiny ball, inhale. Exhale a little bit more closer, one more time. And as you exhale, letting everything go, coming to Shavasana. As you come to Shavasana, start to really let go of everything. Really relaxing your heels, your knees, your hips, letting your belly drop, letting your chest drop, really gluing your shoulder to the mat, unclenching your jaw, letting go of tension between your eyebrows, and just letting your brain drop a little. Just let everything go and just stay there in this nothingness. Breath can be nice and steady now, your own pace. And feeling this point of homeostasis, all the work is done. And you're just surrendering yourself to the earth. The place where you came from. Just imagine you're going back there. Start to bring some movements on your fingertips, your toes, wiggle them. Take a nice good morning stretch with your hands, lifting your chest. And then slowly bring your knees closer to your chest and turn towards your right side, making your arm like a pillow. And just feeling this moment of gratitude because you're born again. And you're ready to start everything with a fresh light. All the negativity of the past don't matter because you are a new person. And slowly press yourself up. Cross your ankles and just come to sit down in this meditation. Preparing yourself. In this chakra meditation, start to relax into your own breath, your own inhales and exhales, keeping your eyes closed. Feeling the support underneath yourself, your sits bone that's connecting you to everything on this earth, the awareness to your connection to the earth. And just release anything that you don't need. Just your breath. Feeling the rise and fall of your breath. Feel a point of red, vivacious, life energy light. Right between your sits bone. Glowing, guiding your root chakra, muladhara, earth. I have the right to be here. Lam, lam, lam. Deep inhale through that red light. Deep exhale through that red light. Moving up to your sacral chakra right below your belly button, Swadishtana. Imagining a red, orange, glowing light, a circle of energy, a wheel of energy, breathing in through that light, just like water, 
You have the right to feel everything. Vam. 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 Balancing, experiencing, pleasure, desire, feeling. Slowly moving up, right underneath your chest, your solar plexus or Manipura, a place of willpower. Imagining a yellow circle, yellow light, just like a sunshine. That's important to restore, nurture, like a fire that drives you forward. Ram, Ram, Ram. Moving up between your chest, the heart chakra, Anahata. Place of unconditional love, imagining a green light. Breathing in through that light, breathing out. Love is all over you. Love is within you. Yam, yam, yam. Breathing in. Moving up the center of your throat. Vishuddha chakra, signified by a blue light place of speaking the truth. And slowly imagining that blue light breathing, breathing out. Hum, hum, hum. Slowly moving up between your eyebrows, your third eye or Ajna Chakra. Imagining an indigo light, just like the night sky. The place of inner wisdom that balances you, that gives you intuition, clarity, understanding. You see. Um, Moving all the way to your crown, Sahasrara, top of your head, the point that connects you to the universe, the world beyond yourself, this earth. Balancing, harmonizing your entire body is connected to something that's way beyond here, now. Silence is the sound.
You can continue to stay here. I'm going to play, close my practice. Namaste.